All right, everyone, pertinent to Biden crime, Hunter Biden is being hauled into court now for a couple of gun crime charges. Of course, you're not supposed to buy a gun when you're on crack, and you're not, well, you're not supposed to possess a gun while on drugs, and you're also supposed to properly dispose of it, not toss it in a dumpster. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad idea, just to be clear. You're also not supposed to lie on purchasing forms when you're buying a gun. Um, so if it asks you, are you on narcotics, and you say no, and you know, then you have pictures and video of you smoking crack in the contemporary period, it can be a problem. Normally, that kind of thing is not prosecuted, particularly, especially the gun form part. Um, and, and so the fact that Hunter Biden is facing charges at all, eh, again, it's, it's able to be prosecuted. It's not really a blue law situation. It's more like what I've rambled about for years, which is differential enforcement. The fact that the son of the current sitting steward, the asterisk president, is being brought in on these charges, therefore, he's got political clout, he's got money, he's got the family name, his daddy runs the DOJ uh, as the chief executive, means that there's a, reason, a different reason other than mud justice that they're pursuing these charges. And that's because they don't want the public talking about the real deal about Biden crime, which is 10% for the big guy, number one. The Hunter Biden laptop cover-up, number two. The trafficking of possibly underaged individuals across state lines, which Hunter appears to be involved with, number three. His frivolous lawsuits against Giuliani and others, number four. The tax fraud, number five. And the original sweetheart deal that he was going to get on this and other charges that would have exonerated him of any prosecution for anything that he had ever done up to and including the current period, number six. You have a laundry list of goddamn sub-scandals with regards to the Biden crime family, and that's just the ones that are directly adjacent to Hunter. What about the energy board at Burisma? Why was he even on there? What about the phone calls with Daddy? We don't know the actual sum and substance of those. Biden says, well, you know, I just talked about the weather, and Hunter said, Hunter's people say, well, he was selling the illusion of influence to his partners. Partners that Joe Biden swore up and down he never spoke to at all. We have nine or ten meaningful issues with regards to Biden crime, which touch on both Hunter and his dad. We've also got Ashley Biden's diary for what that's worth. And that one chick that was like eight or nine and Biden grabbed her titty and she complained about that at one point online and then disappeared and... Even Snopes has a hard time dealing with it because they can't quite rule out the fact that it's actually legit. It is, but, but you know, when it disappears from the internet, it becomes harder to track things down. The gun charges are not even the tip of the iceberg. It's like one snowflake sitting on top of the tip of the iceberg. I don't support even charging him with these charges. I think that a person should perfectly be able to buy a gun. It doesn't matter if they're on narcotics. See, I'm, I'm being principled here. I'm against gun control in all forms, basically. He should be able to possess one uh, while on drugs, and if he decides to dispose of it in a dumpster, the only caveat is that if some gangster manages to dig it out of the dumpster and uses it in a crime, Hunter's responsible because he effectively provided the gun. Under any other circumstances, if it's just sitting there rotting in a landfill, it ain't doing much damage to people, and eh, even if you got a Glock, at some point it'll stop functioning properly if it sits there and rusts long enough. Uh, so I don't even support the charges, number one. And number two, they're the least meaningful, which is why this is a distraction. They're trying to get people to talk about that so they won't talk about all of this other shit. That's the iceberg. They're telling you not even to focus on the tip, but to focus on that one fucking snowflake. Oh my god, you're, you're on the ship, you're headed towards the iceberg. Snowflake ahead! Oh shit, you know, we're all gonna die. Uh, big problem. Hunter Biden, yeah, he lied on the gun form. As it's been pointed out, that is normally not prosecuted. It, in the criminal sense, it's not technically uh, normally prosecuted. Him using drugs while possessing a gun, well, fucking a lot of people have done that. Most of the time, they don't brag about it uh, in emails and have a computer that they they conveniently leave at the store to get requisition uh, for an extended period of time with, you know, evidence of them lying on the gun form or possessing it while they're on crack. Again, though, that period is contemporary with business dealings that are at least dubious, if not illegal. Contemporary with trafficking. We know that trafficking occurred. 
human trafficking is a much more significant crime that's much more easily prosecuted, but they don't seem to have a problem with it. If you have a prostitute that you know is based in Nebraska and Hunter's got a picture of that prostitute banging him in Maryland, um, that's human trafficking. You've brought someone across state lines for the purposes of paying them for sex. That's highly illegal. That's a felony. Uh, those are the things that he should be prosecuted for, not this bullshit uh, uh, gun crime. The, the worst part was the nepotistic plea deal, though. Well, the prosecution's offering me a plea deal in which I plead guilty, and basically nothing happens to me. I, I get a fine, maybe. I do 10 hours of community service. For, again, in some cases, crimes that people actually get nailed for. Not the gun thing, not even the tax fraud thing. Now, he's going to get off scot-free on that, I assume, at this point, because they don't seem to be talking about it much. Trafficking. Uh, and and shit and and uh, Rico cases and shit like that. I thought that that was a big thing right now because Donald Trump supposedly involved himself in that by questioning the Georgia election. Uh, he's getting charged up and down the ass on all of these things. The Bidens have done a thousand times worse, even if we assume Trump's full guilt, which trust me, I don't. And they they let him off with a couple of gun charges. And do you really think he's going to serve twenty five years in prison? Me thinks probably not. If anything happens, they'll give him a minimal sentence at a low-security Ghislaine Maxwell facility. Maybe he'll be in the same one. He'll be able to go play tennis and do yoga classes, and he'll get clean because Ghislaine Maxwell will teach him yoga or something like that. By the way, you still don't have Epstein's client list either. All this other shit is also a distraction from other even bigger criminal syndicates than the Bidens. Yes, there are people that are even more screwy than the Biden family, which are effectively white trash that came into money through political nepotism. It's basically what happened with Joe, and Hunter didn't fall far from the tree. Uh, he bonked his head on the way down, though, that's for sure. Daddy loves him, but, you know, sometimes that boy just ain't right. Well, Obama used to say that about Joe. <laughs> just think, Joe's the dumb one in that dynamic, and then Hunter's the dumb one of the family. And they're inbred. Joe Biden looks like the Deliverance Banjo Kid 50 years later, well, 60 or 70 years later, actually, by now. Uh, so the gun charge is a distraction. Uh, I'm, I'm going to pay limited attention to this case because you've got all this other stuff. It's almost like people got so overloaded with criminality, uh, duplicity, dubious dealings, and everything under the sun, fucking cro cronyanism and corruption, uh, up and down so far that they can't even, like, focus on it all. And so now they're trying to refocus the public's attention, but on the least damaging aspect of the overall plethora of subcases that are involved in that nexus of criminality. That's about all. Peace out.